part two of the Christmas special. Today, we're going to have something a little bit special. Very simple though. Very, very simple. Baked leg of ham. Christmas ham, I don't know where, where you're from, but uh, here in Australia we seem to uh, enjoy our Christmas leg hams, baked hams, uh, prawns or shrimp for Christmas. Um, you know, I know the United States is uh, big on turkey. Uh, I don't know, a lot of people here in Australia would probably disagree with me, but we like our hands for Christmas. Um, they might like their turkey. Simple as that. Anyway, make it quick. Got a big leg of ham here. What's this weighing in it? Five and a half kilos. So that should feed well, quite a few people. Doesn't matter how many, but quite a few. So you're going to need one of these, the liquid gold, olive oil. I like extra virgin. It's just easy. It's got the nice flavour. It's not too harsh. Soy sauce, onion flakes. You can go with these, but if you want to make it easy and quick, go with this. Garlic, crushed garlic in a jar. Easy. What do we got here? Cranberry sauce. Now, I like cranberry sauce with ham. Maple syrup, cover the brand. The good stuff. Something that's a little bit tricky to come across. If you're lucky enough to find it, a little bit of applewood liquid smoke. It's a concentrated smoky flavor in liquid form. Just like it says, liquid smoke. Put a little bit of that in there, and um, beautiful. A little bit of background flavor. Not too much, it's really strong. Some cloves. Fresh orange juice with the pulp. Get it with the pulp. Makes the difference. The stuff that doesn't have the pulp, it's more water than actual juice. Thyme. And a pot. The baking dish. I've just prepared it with some foil. Put a little bit of uh, wax paper in the bottom so that the ham doesn't stick to it. Um, so when you're cutting it and stuff like that, it's not going to peel up all the aluminium foil that's stuck to the bottom of the ham. Nobody wants that. So you put a little bit of baking paper in it. Good as gold. Alright, well I'll prep the ham. And uh, we'll see you in a few seconds. Okay, we're back. I've taken it out of the wrapper. I'm talking about the ham. What we're going to do is we're going to score it, score the skin into a diamond sort of shape pattern. So what happens is when it cooks, it opens up and all the flavour goes into the meat as well, not just into the skin. But you just get a real razor sharp knife. Be real careful. <laughs> There you go. Straight into it. Slippery little sucker. Right down to the meat. So back that into the into the pan there like that. There we go. All ready to go. Now we're going to prep the um, the basting liquid. So uh, we'll see you back in a second, and um, I'll show you how to do that, and then. We'll get this baby into the oven, I'll tell you the temperature and everything, and we'll move on. Okay, we're back. First thing, get your pot. Orange juice. I probably should have shaken it up a little bit, but that's okay. Here we go. Shake it up. Shaken up. See how all the pulp is in there as well. Probably, let's just say, how much have we got here? How many litres? One litre. I probably put, I don't know, close to half a litre in there, about 400 mils. Then a little bit of garlic. Oh, jeez, slipping hands. A good heap tablespoon of garlic in there, like that. Or maybe a little bit more. I like garlic. There we go. Put that down there like that. 
a dash of soy sauce. Now this will change the colour, but it will add flavour. So probably, I don't know, maybe 50 mils of soy sauce. Now this is baby here, liquid smoke. And when I say use very little, I mean use very little. It's very potent. That's more than enough. Heaps. Maple syrup. Oh yeah, hang on, we've got to remove the, the seal. Look at that. We're not even ready for you. It's okay. Here we go. We've got the salty, we've got the sweetness now. Uh, let's just say there's probably about 50 mil of that too. Make, make it 70 mil. Close enough. Cloves. Oh, here we go. Half the jar is going to end up in there. We use the back of the spoon here. Pretty strong stuff this, so just a few. Maybe a few more. Just like that. That's all we'll need. Oh, that would have been funny to see. I'll pick that up later. The time. Don't worry about the stalks, just get the leaves in there, just like that. Because of the flavours, all going to go through the orange juice anyway. And you're going to use this orange juice to baste it. I like to put a little bit of olive oil. Put a little background flavour. See how it separates? Oil, water, juice. Grind a good grind of pepper. Black star, there we go, look at that. I know it looks like a lot of pepper, but it's not. Onion flakes. A little bit of onion flakes. Now, somebody mentioned to me that I didn't mention measurements and stuff like that. But, you sort of put the amount of stuff that you want in there. So, make everything to taste. If you think that that's going to be enough onion flakes, put that many. If you think you want more cloves, put more cloves. A bit more sweetness, add a bit more maple syrup. A bit more salty, so on, so on, so on. Anyway, what we do then is we take this, and we take it onto the uh, stove, we turn it up, get it to, well, not, not quite boiling, probably just like a, a very slow simmer, um, and then switch it off straight away. So as soon as it comes to a simmer, switch it off straight away, and then we use that as our basting liquid. We'll see you in a second. Okay guys, look. That's our basting liquid. Orange juice, soy sauce, maple syrup, uh, thyme, cloves, a little bit of liquid smoke. Um, I've sampled it already. It's yum. It's nice. Once that's cooked through the ham, the combination of the ham and the basting liquid, A1 mate. Okay. What we're going to do, before we put the basting liquid on, here, I've prepared some more cloves. Now, these little buggers here, gets pushed into the, into the skin there, because if you, like I mean, you could do it the easy way and put one in between, like that, but the longer it's in the oven, the more the uh, skin is going to open up. So those, it'll end up like this. Okay guys, we're back, 2 hours and 42 minutes, 2 or 3 quarter hours. It's been in the oven, uh, it sitting on about 190 to 200 degrees, um, I basted it quite a few times, every 20 minutes, it's ready to come out, but we'll have a look at it. Whoa, the heat, just what you need in the middle of summer. Okay, there we go, look at that. There it is. Don't worry about the black bits, it's on the skin. But if you have a look, have a look at that. Let me just move this out of the way for you. Have a look at that. That's beautiful. Beautifully cooked. It's been basted regularly. We'll even throw a little bit of base on right now. We've got a little bit left, not much. 
Just a little bit on top there. Give it a bit of a shine. We're not going to cover it in glaze and, you know, honey and whatever they use, you know, to glaze it all up. This little bit of uh, leftover OJ and Mary, look, we'll just pour it over the top. Okay, what I did do was I used some of those juices as well while I was basting because they've got some of the, uh, you know, the fat that was uh, melting from the heating and the cooking process and whatnot. It's all gone in there and it's added extra flavour. So that's what we've got. So how about we, uh, we carve it up now and um, serve ourselves up a little bit and we'll, we'll try it and see how we go. Okay, here we go. Put the fork in. I don't even know where to put the fork. We'll put it there. We need a razor sharp knife. We'll cut into there like that. Oh wow, look at that. Look at that. See how it's changed colour? You know, everybody knows what a leg of ham looks like, the colour of the leg of ham. Look at that. Don't worry about the black bits, because that's just from the caramelisation of the uh, maple syrup. Bottom line is, if you don't want it, this is what you do. Cut it off. Get rid of it. If you want to eat it, it's there. You know, it's pretty fatty, but it's there. If you don't want it, look, go on. That's not black. That's beautiful. The flavour of that, you will never look back. Okay. I reckon. Put some of this on here. Whoa, look at that. That's what it's about. We're not hiding anything. A little bit of that cranberry sauce. More like cranberry jelly. And if you really want to, we could use that same spoon. Let's keep some of that liquid on there. Look at that. Yeah, I know. It's fatty and it's not healthy and blah, blah. But... How often do you eat it? Christmas only comes around once a year. There's your, your baked ham, your baked Christmas ham. And uh, you can have that. Don't feel guilty about it because uh, you've got, you know, pretty much 11.9 months to start working it off. Let's try it. Okay. This time, it's not about presentation. It's about the food. So we've baked the ham for Christmas and uh, I'm pretty sure that everybody you serve that to is gonna be wow. The wow factor is there, it, the flavor is there, everything that you want is there. The juiciness, the whole lot. So let's try it, eh? Bit of that cranberry sauce there. It's not really sauce, it's more of a jelly, isn't it? Look, look. Sauce doesn't really stick onto a fork like that, does it? Okay, we'll try that. Got a bit of the ham. Scoop a little bit of that jelly on there. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have another go. Wow, yeah, I like that. Another success story. <laughs> Perfect. It's got flavour. Got that saltiness. The ham normally gives you a, a salty flavour. You can taste the background um, smoky liquid smoke. Yeah, it's good. I like it. I'm pretty sure that everybody in the family is going to like that. So give that a go. Comment down below if you like the recipe or not. Uh, even if the, the look of it, you know, if you like the look of it, let me know. Merry Christmas to everybody. Everybody stay safe. Merry Christmas to all your family. And I hope Santa brings you heaps of prezies.
See you later.